Welcome to the $1,000 Day Trading Challenge. Stay tuned for all the live action. So INFI right up above that 250 area right there at open. Talk about this one pre-market in the live stream. It's going crazy up there to 266 now. Boom, big explosion there on INFI. Up there to 270 now, 272, 275. Pre-market high there. Going for that $3 break already. This thing is going crazy. All those shorts that piled in right here are getting squeezed. So INFI getting up to that $3 area, coming back right back down to 275 now, 279. Big seller there at 280 trying to crash this down. Look at that big seller there on level two. Big seller there, 280. Not working out for him. Getting squeezed here. Jumping in there at 289. Looking for this break above $3. Here we go. Don't like how it didn't explode through $3 right there. It should have been right through $3. So I'll wait again to see if it gets above $3 there. So I tried to get out here on the ask at the 290, I think five area. Couldn't get filled. It's pulling back down there, INFI down there to 275 again. Should have just taken the full there at 292. Just wanted to lock it in. I thought we might, you know, get one more push back up to the $3 area. Just didn't get it there. And now we're pulling back down there. It's looking really extended right here. Getting kind of choppy. Got a double top twice there at the $3 area. So we got CASI going for this $4 break. Jumping in here on CASI there above $4. Looking for this move up to the 410 area. Quick little pop. Giving a second to pop off this 390 area. Way too much there. Wow. Bad. Bad trade on that one. Just getting too extended there. Way too extended for that break there. Wasn't really paying attention. Thought we might get a pop up of that $4 area. $4 area and get a quick squeeze. Didn't get it. Trying to get that 410. And now it's pulling back down there. 380. CASI pulling back down now. 375. INFI pulling down there to 260 area. So CASI, get up that $4 area and then crashing down. You can see this one minute candle. Should have cut my loss there at the 390 area. Wasn't tight enough. I thought we might get that pop off in the 390 area, then move higher. But we were way too extended there. Uh, just not quick enough to cut my loss there. And you can see what happened. So wasn't quick enough to cut my loss. Took a loss there on CASI. $120. Way too big of a loss there. Looking here at AKER above $1.50. Not getting filled there above $1.50. Up there to a dollar seventy now, trying to get filled there a dollar forty five. I'm looking like we're gonna get it. Got six hundred shares, luckily. So that's not bad. Looking for this move up to a dollar seventy area, possibly high of day. Going up there at a dollar eighty. Look for a dollar eighty now. Come on, one more high. Looking for this move up to a dollar eighty here. Might have been too greedy. Still getting some buy in there. Look for that 165 break. There it is, up to a dollar seventy again. Taking profit there, a dollar sixty-eight. Gonna put me a little closer to green on the day after those first two trades. So AKER up there to a dollar seventy-five. Looking like it wants to explode right here. Up to a dollar seventy-three, going for that dollar eighty. There it is, up there to a dollar eighty now. Woo! Crazy one. I was trying to get fifteen hundred shares there of AKER. At the dollar forty-five area, you only got six hundred shares. Would have been a lot better of a payday there. Pretty much bottom tick that. Getting filled there at dollar forty-five. See if it's gonna pull back down to the dollar fifty area, down to that nine EMA. So made one hundred thirty bucks there on AKER. Uh, made seventy-seven dollars earlier shorting JILL. Uh, this trade here on CASI, one hundred twenty-dollar loss is just way too big of a loss there. I was planning on getting out ten cents lower, but I ended up getting out. Like 25 cents lower, so a lot a lot lower than I should have. Should have cut my loss a lot faster on that one. And just kind of proving the fact that you got to cut your losses fast. Trying to get filled here on the dip here on AKER. Getting filled there at $1.57. See if we get this move back above $1.60. Don't like it. Getting out of there. Not getting back above dollar sixty right away, so I'm gonna cut my loss on that one. I'm keeping an eye on this three dollar area here on INFI. There it is, up there to three twenty now. Right up there, looking really extended right here. 
Trying to go short there at 315, not getting filled. Going to cancel that. Was trying to get short there at 315. Get this pullback down to the $3 area. See if we get filled here at $3 now on this pullback. Jumping here on INF, looking for this move higher here. Back up to that 315 area. Taking profit right there. Not liking that move. Had 2,000 shares. I'm going to be a little closer to green on the day. I was wanting this to jump right back up there to 315. Looks like it's going to do it right here. 311 now. INFI getting stuck there at the 315 area twice now. So it's almost 11 o'clock. I think I'm going to be done for the day. I'm going to end up just being red on the day. Down 30 bucks after commissions and fees. The commissions and fees really killed me today. AKER. This would have been the stock that I really could have profited huge on. I tried to get 1,500 shares. I only got 600 shares. I tried to get filled there. On this dip, I got filled beautifully at $1.45 on the bottom of that candle and took profit there at 168 And uh, this stupid trade here, kind of break even. And really, you know, talking about this trade here on JILL, -L, this was the trade. Ah, oh, man, I'm like looking at this now, and I just, it's, it's easy to make excuses, easy to do hindsight 2020, you know. This trade, that 560 area, there was a big buyer there pre market. I went short there at 565. I had 2,000 shares right here with about a 563 average. And, uh, you know, it was having some trouble there at 560s. It didn't want to break. And I was like, man, I'm just going to get out of it. I'm going to get out of it. I don't like it. I'm not going to risk it. I ended up going lower. I had 500 shares left. Took profit there at 546. It's down there to 491 now. So this could have easily been a $1,000 trade right here alone. But uh, you see how it works out sometimes. Just, you got to. It's all about trading and kind of figuring out, you know, where what's your what's your goal. So, not the best day. Not not I'm, I'm not, but not the best day. I'm not happy to, to I'm not happy to end the day in the red after commissions and fees. You know, being up 120 bucks. That AKER trade should have been a lot bigger. Should have made a lot more profit on that one. And uh, looks like J I L L just going lower here. So I'm gonna stop looking at it because if I keep looking at it, I feel like I'm gonna try to get in on a trade on it. And I, and I don't wanna and I don't wanna push it right now. I don't wanna force it. So, you know, having one small loss of a day, it's not a big deal. And uh, we'll come back tomorrow and hit it hard again. So I'm going to be up, I'm going to be bump, I'm going to be bumping up my share size, you know, trying to get 2,000, 3,000 shares per trade from here on out, trying to grow this account a little bit faster. I feel like I've been playing a little too safe. The market's been really hot. There's been some crazy movers. So I need to capitalize on that. And uh, there goes J-I-L-L, -L, lower and lower. <laughs>